Renewable energy like wind and sun is important for mitigating climate change, but it's not enough on its own. To meet the challenging targets of the Paris Agreement, global CO2 emissions must be reduced by 50 to 85 percent by 2050, and 14% percent of the total emissions reductions by 2060 must come from CCS. CCS, that is, Carbon Capture, Transport and Storage, is a series of technologies and processes that aim to significantly cut CO2 emissions. It involves three major steps. Capturing CO2 at the source, compressing it for transportation, and then injecting it deep into a rock formation at a carefully selected and safe site, where it's permanently stored. It's a proven technology and has been in safe commercial operation for over 45 years, but if we are to reach net zero targets, we need to scale up CCS capacity by more than 100 times in the next 30 years. This is a huge challenge. A challenge too big for any one country, company or research institute to tackle on their own. This is where the European Energy Research Alliance's joint program on CCS comes in. The European Energy Research Alliance, ERA for short, is the largest energy research community in Europe, bringing together over 50,000 people in energy research across the continent. To organize work within the association, ERA operates 18 joint research programs, covering the whole range of low-carbon energy technologies, including carbon capture and storage. These joint programs allow members to network, collaborate and initiate new projects. The benefits of a joint program and the ERA CCS program in particular is that we bring people together. I mean, these are the, the best research and innovation environments in Europe. How can we work together and stand on each shoulders than to duplicate work? So we're really defragmenting European research and innovation in this, this field. It's important to us that we speak with a voice that is science-based uh, and knowledge-based. Uh, and ERA CCS is a very strong muscle in that. We talk together, we share knowledge, we share experience, and we do represent the one single voice towards the Commission and, then, uh, and also the collaborative, let's say, member states and associated countries on this. We represent one common voice. It's clear that ERA CCS's efforts are beneficial to members of the program. By connecting European CCS research and speaking as one unified voice in the field, the members are able to influence the research agenda and simplify decision-making processes for stakeholders and policymakers across Europe. I think it is very important that all the European brains working on CCS can exchange and coordinate on all facets of CCS. Connecting with uh, other European countries and researchers collectively, we are uh, much stronger scientifically. Without a very strong link to our CCS research partners in Europe, we really would struggle to, to push forward any of our ideas or any of our projects. There are many benefits for uh, speaking with one voice and being a part of the ERA CCS joint programme. I think the first one is it allows a common understanding of the research priorities for Europe as a whole. It's a short answer, you have more impact. We are able to influence policy documents and even research calls coming from Europe and member states on these priorities. And of course, I think that uh, these, uh, these players, these stakeholders, appreciate the fact that there is a, a joint effort and there is a consensus on the importance of the technology and on certain initiatives. ERA is an institution that is hurting Brussels. Demands with regard to research areas formulated by ERA are taken for serious. At that point, ERA has much more impact than opinions expressed by similar universities. Although the efforts of the joint program is fast-tracking the science and technology required, there is still a lot of work left. The main issues that CCS projects face today perhaps are not of technological nature. We need a CCS infrastructure if we want to go for large-scale industrial CO2 transport networks. And in order to have this, we really need a European effort. Fundamental research is still necessary to make processes more effective and to reduce the likelihood of misinvestments. And research is always cheaper than large-scale misinvestments. This is why ERA CCS is so important for Europe. To ensure the best research, train young scientists, 
advise policymakers and industrial companies, and explain CCS to a wide audience. So the future of CCS, we need it, but I think like all climate combat measures, it will start too late. But we should realize that the technique is there. We can do it, we can do it now. We need consensus and support. And as we implement these technologies, we also, through our research, improve them and make them better, safer, more economical. But we can implement them already now and we have to because the problem we are trying to solve requires urgent action. I realized that the COVID pandemic showed us that if we want, we can do a lot in a short time. You might say there is hope if we find a way to make everyone focus their activities on climate actions. We can do a lot. <laughs>